welcome. Uh, today I am doing a very interesting video and the reason I'm, in the, I'm doing this video is because I had this challenge and I am assuming that maybe there may be some people out there who probably have experienced the same thing and my challenge was I had to buy a new iron. That's correct. An iron. Now the, the, the interesting story is that uh, my mother has the same iron that she purchased long before even I was born and that iron still works the way it did uh, when she purchased it. Meanwhile, I have been living on my own for the last, let's see, uh, 24 odd years and in that time I'll probably have purchased 20 different irons because they do not last. In fact, I'll bring it in front of uh, camera view. This is my previous iron, uh, Rwanda. I purchased it, it's a German made iron. I purchased it from Bed Bath & Beyond. And uh, in my opinion, I think it was, it was a fairly high price for an iron uh, for home use. It's uh, 1750 watts, anti-drip, burst of steam, it has anti-cal prop uh, mechanism in there. A fairly decent iron, has a good weight, it's about high three pounds under four pounds but within under two years it it's it has developed a fault I believe the cable the electrical power that goes in has gotten a kink or has gotten loose and now it does not stay on and I have to kind of twist and turn to get it to work and I was a little disappointed because it was a fairly pricey investment and I was hoping with a with better brand of iron my iron I probably would not have to worry about iron until I retire and stop caring about my clothes being iron. So that being said, I purchased this iron about two, less than two years ago and now it has developed a fall so I had to buy a new iron. I, I probably could have had it repaired but again I live in, um, in an apartment complex and I don't want to risk having an iron which is repaired at home and it's not certified and could potentially cause a, a fire. And as you know in, in buildings, the fire can quickly out of control and become something more dangerous. A little bit of water came out of the iron uh, that I was just playing earlier. But quickly. So guys, what I did was um, I searched very many places. I went to very many stores in the city and I could not find an iron. It probably is because, again, you know, in New York City, these spaces are limited, so probably people may not be looking for an iron, or people may be using laundromats. Laundromat is a big business in the city, so people may be having someone else iron tools for them. Uh, I, ever since I've been a kid, I've been, uh, I've, 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 been, I've learned uh, to wear iron clothes, and I, I just feel like I should be ironing my own clothes. Maybe it's, it's called IKEA effect. If you iron it, then you will probably take better care of, care of your clothes. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, so what I did was I went to Amazon and I purchased this iron. I've never heard of this brand before, by the way. It's called Martisan. It's a steam iron. And uh, what I did was, again, it has the same properties, anti-cow, anti-drip, self-cleaning, uh, nano-ceramic. I don't know. I, I, I don't like ceramic. I prefer two plates, but... Uh, I just couldn't find but one of the decision points that I had was if you look at the picture it looks very similar to my Rwanda iron and for this iron I think I paid about 70 80 bucks and in comparison this iron was around $30 with shipping included yes $30 with shipping included I just could not pass again it's 1800 watts and I believe anything more than that would require a special electrical outlet in the apartment, but uh, I have basic uh, NEMA 515s, so uh, this connects perfectly. I have not used it. I'm going to unbox it with you. Actually, my camera is sitting on top of Amazon box because I just didn't have a good setup, but the box came in this weird shape. It looks like it's been pressed. I don't know if it got in this shape in shipping, or in the warehouse where it was stored. It came in fairly quickly. I think it came in like 24 hours. I, I'm assuming it probably came from Amazon's local distribution, which is literally four blocks from my apartment. Uh, so I'm gonna open the iron with you and let's see what we have inside. Um, again, as I mentioned, it's 1800 watt iron. And the reason I picked a bigger wattage was it will heat up faster and um, the 
faster the iron heats up and maintains at high temperature, you can get the wrinkles out of your garments without having to go back and forth to get that smooth uh, iron feeling. Uh, opening the box, actually I should have done it this way, I just opened the box, again it's a basic tab, I opened it. There's the first thing that I came out is the, the I guess it says thank you for pur uh, purchasing Martinson. Uh, note your Martinson steam iron has been tested for 100% satisfaction. Any water remaining in the tank is due to the quality control testing. Uh, Martinson factory conducts performance tests. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's, it's just, it said there might be some water, so we'll see if there is any. Oh, there is a little plastic cup uh, with a sprout. I think it's to pour water into the iron's chamber. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if you can see inside. There are no clamshells, uh, which I think is pretty good because you know it eliminates the plastic waste. I I don't see any plastic items inside. Maybe bag, which does not. I mean, I'm sure it's some kind of polymer. It does not seem like um, your crinkly hard plastic. It, it may be it's, uh, it's recyclable. We'll see if there's a recyclable logo on, on the bag. Uh, there's a little booklet in there too. I think it's instructions manual, but it's... Oh, it came out, right? It kind of got bent with the weight of iron, I believe. Uh, 120 volts, 60 hertz. So it's not auto-sensing for voltage. I think this product is only made for use in uh, America or any other country where they have 120 volts and uh, NEMA 515 outlets. I believe Japan may be the only country where they have similar outlets, but I'm not sure. Uh, basic instructions, how to use, maintenance, troubleshooting, blah blah blah, fairly basic stuff. If you have used iron, then I think you probably will be okay uh, without having to read the manual. Let's get the... I don't know, the box. All right, very nice, very nice. It weighs, I think about 3.2 pounds, but it's still fairly light. Um, and I think the, it, the weight will increase when I fill the chamber up. As the card suggested, there might be some residual water. I don't see any water. I don't even see any calcation or marks from water onto the chamber. So it looks fairly clean. It does have a separate button for self-cleaning. Uh, steam, burst of steam, spray. Just talks about different features that you can use to iron your garments with. Um, and there's a little toggle that you can move back and forth to get the amount of steam out. You can control pressure. I'm gonna move the box and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side with my Rwanda iron. So we can see things a little bit closely. Uh, so in my Rwanda, uh, there's a little tab here that you can move to get the right amount of steam out. And as you can see, I've had it set very close to no steam. Uh, I, I do use a spray bottle to squirt some water on my garments when I'm ironing it, so I don't need, need that much steam. But if I'm pressing my pants, then I will use steam because then I'm not moving the iron back and forth. I'm just pressing the iron and let the weight of the iron take the wrinkle out and put seams in my pants. Um, anything else? Uh, I mean, design-wise, th these two irons look very, very similar. Uh, this iron, my Rwanda iron, has a stainless steel uh, iron plate or base plate. This iron, on the other hand, is a ceramic coating. Now, I, as I mentioned earlier, in terms of price comparison, this was only, I think, $29, under 30 bucks. Meanwhile, this iron was 80 bucks, so I do expect some compromises on the materials being used. But if the iron is going to last me only two years, then there is no point spending a crazy amount of money on irons and then having to replace them. Um, as I mentioned, I was very disappointed when my iron start, stopped working. And um, even though I can get it repaired, I don't think I can get the certification. So I'm not risking repairing this iron and then using it in my apartment and then risking not only my own safety, but also safety of my neighbors. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this baby to test and let you know how it works. And I will, again, my reference point is that Rwanda iron. I have used other irons too, but this is the only iron I have right now. So I'm going to use this Rwanda iron as a comparison point and I'll let you know what my experiences are. Okay? Just a quick update guys, so what I did was I took the iron out, I filled it up with the tiny cup 
that came with the iron and it took about two and a half of these little cups to fill the, fill the chamber and now what I'm doing is I actually went ahead and read the instructions uh, because this is not a steel plated iron it is a ceramic coated uh, with a single plate so the instructions suggested that to run the iron at high temperature and let all the uh, it says it's going to be some smoke coming out. I did not see any smoke, but I did smell some, uh, not offensive, but some funky odor at the start, which has now dissipated. And what I'm doing now is, as it's getting hotter, I am going to be pressing the steam button a couple of times to, to get the steam out and any dirt or particulates that may have settled during manufacturing to get them out of the, um, the, the steaming at the sole plate and get cracking. Now one thing I noticed as I was connecting it was there is a little trigger here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry guys, my lighting is it's not that good. Right there. This is the trigger. And it's you can just press it to get the steam out, which I have never seen. I've always seen the top button. I've never seen a trigger in an iron. And as I mentioned, this is probably my 20th iron in over the last 20 plus years. Uh, so let's see if it's hot enough and if the steam comes out so we can get cracking. There we go. There we go. That ah, steams pretty nicely, guys. I don't know if you can see that in front of camera. There we go. So, let me check the surface if anything came out. Nope. I don't see any. I don't get any feeling of any particulates or any uh, calcification that may have come out. Uh, I got that uh, synthetic chemically odor one more time, probably because it's coming from the chamber. But. Uh, yeah, it's dissipating guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get started with ironing my iron. I'm going to start ironing my suit that I was wearing today first. And then I'm going to iron a shirt. I don't think I'll be able to film it with the camera. But what I'll do is once I've finished ironing, I will come back and give you my review of my experience ironing with this Martisan iron for the first time. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so in closing, I have finished ironing some of my shirts here and just wanted to do a quick shot. The iron worked, worked remarkably well, by the way. Um, I For $30, I was blown away. In fact, I felt like it performed better than my Rwanda iron, uh, which is obviously more pricier, a brand is more reputable, and I purchased it uh, with hopes that it's gonna last me a lifetime. And uh, guess what? It only lasts me two years. Uh, similarly, my suit that I was wearing today, it's a teal color suit. I don't know what color shows in the camera. Uh, but again, I, I kind of ironed the pants and the sleeves and the back of the jacket. So when, you know, when I'm wearing it next time, it doesn't look too sloppy. Again, it was a breeze to iron. Um, no issues at all. Um, iron gl glided on the, uh, on the fabric smoothly, no snug, no tug, no pulling, no peeling, nothing. Uh, overall, I'm very, very satisfied with this $30 iron. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, guys, if you have any questions about my experience with this, uh, uh, this iron, Martinson iron, please leave them in the comment section. I would be delighted to let you know what my experiences are. And again, I spent about two days just researching irons uh, to see what to look for and uh, basically what I found out was that the experiences that I've had with my iron are fairly common these days uh, I guess as the cliche goes they don't make the things they used to uh, so we have to do with what we have okay uh, again thank you very much for watching and uh, having me uh, in your house today I appreciate you greatly and I look forward to seeing you next time thank you